It's for the record, son. Yeah. Yeah. It's for the. It's for the record. I said it's for the. It's for the record. Yeah, boy. It's for the. It's for the record. And we all are. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Nugs B. Coming to you with episode 49 for the record. Hashtag together FTR. And as you can tell, we're in a new location, but it's going to be something great that's coming. We got another podcast adding to the podcast valley of which where we live. Uh, you know, we're getting funky with it. We're getting fresh. No Prince of Bel Air, even though that's the best sitcom of all time. Uh, so if you don't know, now you know, motherfucker. West Philadelphia, born and raised. Born and raised, baby. Uh, so we're gonna start this one out today, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go with some recommendations off the top as usual. I'm also gonna recommend a game that I've been playing. If you guys haven't already checked it out, uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, super fucking awesome. And yeah, in this episode, as you can tell, I'm gonna be dropping a lot of f bombs. And if you're not down with that, you can just go ahead and you know watch the sponsored ones because. Right, your congressman. Yeah, you know. Make just, sure you spell uh, my name right. <laughs> And we're not using mics because we have some technical difficulties, but we're going to be set up for next episode. Uh, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be tremendous. It's going to be the biggest with millions, as Donald Trump would say, with the millions, you know. Uh, I love when he says that. I don't know about you guys, but when that guy says million, I instantly just, I feel like I'm in Austin China. Powers movie. China. China. Billion. <laughs> I, want one, I want one billion dollars. Do not play with these motherfuckers no more. You know, he's serious about some it. Sharks with some freaking laser beams, man. Freaking laser beams, man. I don't think that's too much to ask for. <laughs> so, no, what I was saying is the recommendations are Assassin's Creed, uh, also Yellowstone, The 100, The Witcher, Peaky Blinders, The Last Kingdom, Vikings, C, excuse me, The Boys, and Workaholics. If you guys haven't watched those, Go check that shit out. I know you ain't doing nothing. You're sitting around chilling. Unless you are fortunate enough to have something to do, go check those out, and you will not regret it. Okay, so that brings me to my next thing. Uh, this guy right here was created by this guy right here and this guy, not Deadpool, but the crazy guy, and we wanted to show those sculptures off because they're super dope, and that's what brings me into what we're going to talk about. One of the topics we have today is uh, of the comic book that we're currently working on and we've talked about it a little bit and told you know some people already know some people have seen some sketches and stuff like that uh, people have been in on it with us uh, there's been a couple people who have came and gone and seen you know so on and so forth but what we're going to do is we're going to be releasing promo shots of different characters maybe some scenes we, won't re we don't really know exactly what's going to happen but we'll be definitely re uh, releasing some promo stuff and uh Probably a page by the end of the month, hopefully, because we're still trying to decide on a name for that. And also, uh, you know, we're going to be setting up a vote for the podcast name for this one that's going to be in this location. And that'll be, hopefully, you know, you guys vote on that. We'll probably do, I don't know, we, we might be able to do, like, put three names in the hat type deal just because, or do four, and do, like, a... Like a March Madness, like, breakdown, you know, like, this one won this week. Like, I like doing that, yeah. you know, like, this one won this week, so it goes up against this one. And, you know, we'll do, like, a cool. pro like a process of elimination type deal, like, you know, single elimination, and we'll let the people vote on it, and then we'll go from there. Um, so we'll do that for the podcast, and then, like I said, when we have the comic book name 100% set in stone for the page we're going to make, then you're going to see, like I said, promo shots and, you know... Whenever my man Wyatt gets some time, he's going to do some sculptures of the characters in the show. So that's going to be fucking awesome. I'm super sick. excited. I'm so excited, bro. Yeah. The action figures are going to be nasty. And, like, after I drop this, because I'm just going to upload it and I'm not going to edit it or anything. So when I put this out, probably by the day or two after that, uh, depending on what's going to happen, I'll be releasing some sketches that these guys have done. Not anything final, but uh, some you know, semi-final things. There might be some final shit that I'll go ahead and release just because we have a lot of material that nobody's really seen besides the people that are, you know, around us and so on and so forth. Uh, so I might do that. We'll see. We'll see, what, we'll see what's going on. But a lot of dope shit to come, 
and I'm really excited to share it with you guys, and I can't wait for you guys to be a part of it. It's going to be super awesome. So first things first that I want to bring up, because I'm going to leave the crazy for a little bit. Let the crazy breathe a little bit. You feel me? Like I feel like you got to let that thing breathe. You can't always just jump with the crazy. you got to kind of ease it in. you got to get some music on. you got to get some candles. You know, you got to... You gotta do some shit, you know, you can't be getting crazy. So I'm we're gonna I'm gonna jump in head first kind of guy. <laughs> if Fuck I jump out of a plane, I'm going head first. Fuck that it. dipping a toe in and testing it out. Just jump in. We're diving in cannonball style, so let's go. Um so I wanted to ease in with Justice League versus the Avengers. And I put it on my Facebook, so everybody has probably seen it by now, but if you haven't and you're watching this video, definitely drop your comments about what you think and who would win. I personally think the Justice League will beat the living shit out of the Avengers. And I'm not even going to go into crazy detail right now. I'll go into detail in one big comment on this video because it's, it's, it's going to take me a second. Like, I'm not, like i got to explain you shit. you got to get up on your soapbox. i got to get some crazy shit going, bro, because I've already done it once. Me and, my, me and my dude Joel were talking about it. He says that Avengers would fuck him up. Son. Uh, you don't don't talk hey, to me about things I know. Hey, Captain America is my I guy, know. but man, I thought you were say Avengers are smoke. Wolverine's my guy. He's an Avenger technically if we're yeah. talking from the comic books. Yeah. So so he is a big threat. But the guys from Justice League, their power scale is fucking apples and oranges, bro. Yeah. The power scale of Justice League is fucking ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Yeah. Their villains are powerful. Only two and words good you guys. gotta say is Martian Man. Martian Man. Red Tornado is tough as fuck. You got the Green Lantern, John Stewart, or Hal Jordan. Even though technically John Stewart was more powerful, uh, he and he they wield the most powerful weapon in all of DC. The the ring is the most like that material, whether it be a ring or anything else, you know, shield or whatever. It, that is the most powerful thing in DC lore. Really? The rings. I, I looked it up, I didn't dude. Know that. I looked it up. It's like. Top three most powerful weapons, bro. They yeah. wield it, bro. The Green Lanterns are some of the most powerful people in DC. Yeah. That's what it said. Got a, it was just got the a internet. Ring. There's a white lantern, and that's supposed to be like the top dog yeah. out of the lantern. Yeah, well, it was on the internet, so that could be false. If you're, if you're getting your nerd on, talk nerdy <laughs> to me, and comment on this and check me, because I always want to learn. But the article I read said that it is one of the most powerful, top three pow most powerful uh, weapons that can be wielded in the whole DC universe. I believe it. Green Lantern is a bad... They're all bad motherfuckers, dude. They are not to yeah. be fucked with. They can handle Superman. They can trap him. And that's what my point was with the Avengers was like, dude, you gotta think. Fucking Green Lantern could trap the Hulk where he couldn't move. He could get him in a box that the Hulk could not break through. Yeah. He might not be able to kill him. Space that's what I'm trying to say. He might not be able to kill him on initial hit to hit, yeah. but he would make a fucking contraption that is, you know, formed by the ring. Therefore, boom, you have the Hulk boxed up. That's one big hitter off the fucking team already, bro. Yeah. You get what I mean? And then you got Superman. So who would you match up with him? Probably Vision? You'd probably put Vision up against Superman? Well, I mean, it all depends on which Avengers you're That's going true. with. That is true. That is true. I'm putting like all, I'm with all Avengers in Justice League, I guess. Justice League. Well, they're fucked then. then. Yeah, then they're definitely fucked. Avengers are smoked. Done. I'm putting kind of all. <laughs> I'm going to sound like an amateur, but... Martian Manhunter, what's his shit? He's just the baddest motherfucker he's, in DC. He's one of the most powerful beings. He's kind of like Vision, actually. His name is like... He's, you know, he's an alien. He has a real a, name. It's like John John or something. It's like... Uh, it's John weird. Jones. John like Jones or something, like, or something like that. Dude, he's like... Uh, that's, that's Shazam. That's who I was going to bring up next. Shazam is a bad motherfucker. He's six gods in one. You know, he's uh, Mercury fucking... Uh, that's Martian Manhunter, though, dude. John Jones, or it's like it's like French, it's not French, it's alien, but like it sounds. Why do I not know a lot about it? It's John Jones because he's not really talked about. He's not talked about in the movie at all, and, he, and like he's he's in the cartoons a lot, and he was in the comics a lot. He's a shapeshifter, and he can dude, like he's a bad motherfucker. Walk through walls and shit. He's one of the. He's literally the baddest on the Justice League. He's yeah. one of the most powerful, like straight up. He's a bad dude, and him alone, he's fucking up Vision. He's wrecking him. Probably gonna wreck Tony Stark. He's probably gonna kill Cap too, and, and, and Hawkeye. I mean, what's he gonna do? He's just gonna hang out. <laughs> shoot some arrows. He's, he's yeah. like Piccolo. He's like the guy you send in to get your ass kicked, so I can come in next. You know, like what are you doing, bro? Black Widow, bro, yeah. get get fucked. You no. are done, bro. You are done. 
The Justice League are not to be fucked with, bro. Wonder Woman is fucked. Now, if you get Captain Marvel in there, then it's going to be a be- more of a power yeah, struggle. Captain Marvel but would if, definitely stand a chance. She would stand a chance. But here's the thing. Wonder Woman is whooping everybody's ass besides the Hulk. And I, she might be able to beat Captain America, bro. Yeah, she Wonder I mean, Woman. She's stronger she's for tough, sure, bro. And she has the rope. Yeah. And she has the fucking. Sh- and she has like shields on her, uh, like yeah. the wristbands. Dude, she might fuck up Cap. The only person who's a problem is the Hulk and Captain Marvel, and Doctor Strange. Spider Man's yeah. a, a bad motherfucker too. I mean, and Thor. Thor's got. Thor. I forgot about now. Thor. Fuck. I forgot about <laughs> Thor. He is a bad motherfucker. He. I give that. He. He's a problem. He is a problem. But I think he gets handled handled yeah. by uh, I mean, dude, Shazam. Uh, in the, I think in the comic books, I was just reading not too long ago that uh, Captain Shazam Marvel too. killed off Thor. We talked about yeah. that. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Captain Marvel is one of the baddest ever to do it. Okay, so Shazam. What the fuck is he? Badass. <laughs> I thought he was like the cheesy. No, dude. dude. This is he's like a thirteen year old boy, but he's in this full grown man's body. He okay. So his name's Billy Batson, bro. Billy Batson is called upon. From the gods, it's like magic shit that he fucking calls upon him. And when he says Shazam, he turns into a fucking a beast, like pretty much like a fucking. He's six gods in one. He's like Superman, but he's stronger than Superman. Huh. Yeah. Uh, in the cartoon, dude, he's badass, man. Like he's super awesome. And the movie was good too, man. What's his it was power? a little cheesy, but his power is the power of six gods. Uh, it's the power of. Uh, yeah. Like, you thought it was cheesy. It was a little. I liked it. Don't get me wrong. I liked it, <laughs> but it was cheesy. There was a couple was, parts. There it was, was pretty campy. Parts. Let me see here. Uh, let's see what gods. Uh, what is Solomon, Hercules, Atlas, Zeus, Achilles, and Mercury. So he has all those in one guy. I hear Shazam and I think of Sinbad or something. <laughs> oh, <like> Shaq. <laughs> yeah, it was like... Yeah, Dude, I know Sinbad, what you're talking about. The, the Mandela Sinbad effect. Movie. Yeah. The Mandela effect. Because yeah, I remember that weird. movie. Mm-hmm. I remember weird, that movie, Joe. but apparently it never existed. Yeah. It was weird, Joe. Yeah. about that. And it sucks bad. It sucks balls that like... How Jordan got fucked on his with Ryan Reynolds, like that. Yeah, that, that was movie such had so an much awful movie. potential. Like such that, an awful movie. It had such a like a good cast and like such a good. I feel like everything was well. It's just the writing just sucked, and it was like ahead it of his time. It's the same bullshit with Ghost Rider, man. Dude, it we was talked such about that. A Ghost Rider, good Jesus actors, Christ. good special effects. Jesus Christ, real shitty script. Ava Mendez, man, mm. looking fire in the front here, cutting four ways, boy. It's crazy. It's getting hot in here now. <laughs> Sweating, baby. You got, hey, you talking about Justice League. You start getting sweaty out here, son. No, it was Eva Mendez. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, Nerd. that's funny. Nerd alert, boy. That's funny. The next thing is that it's kind of nerd alert as well is the Iron Man versus Batman, which I also put on Facebook. Uh, I think we all agreed Batman, right? Yeah, Batman, hands down. Agree? I mean, uh, I got I got a lot of love for Iron Man. Bruce but Wayne is Bruce no Wayne can fucking do so much joke. without the suit and without the toys and gadgets and shit. Tony Stark can't hang with ninjutsu, bro. He's trained in ninjutsu. Yeah, Dude, was trained by wrestling. I mean, like, the, you know, Batman character. He's trained in like so many different styles of martial yeah. arts. He's trained right. in uh, you know combat tactics mm-hmm. and all kinds of crazy shit. You know the what? world's greatest detective. You know what I just thought of? I'm gonna start the podcast and end them. By either evening, afternoon, or morning, whatever time it is, you know, it might be nighttime. Uh, I'm gonna start it with, uh, you know, good morning, all you heathens and hell racers. That's good. It's, I'm gonna be the new Carol Baskin. One. I'm being the new Carol, Carol Baskin. fucking Baskin. And, and I'm also, I think I'm gonna start ending them with. <laughs> I posted it today. It was fucking stupid, but I thought it was funny. I said, uh, don't you, if you haven't raised any hell, don't you dare think about uh, praising Dale. So we're just gonna make a catchphrase out of that, and we're gonna get it on shirts, bro. We're gonna rock we'll it. On, we're gonna rock it on shirts with a picture of the Intimidator on that motherfucking shirt. Oh, yeah, you have to believe it. And like a, in like a kind of a silhouette, but like the white, like do like a like a white and black, and the white will be like his mustache and his facial features, like the wrinkles and shit. Yeah. And the other and the part shades, will be the man. shirt. Well, yeah, the, yeah, the shades too. And the other part will be like the shirt color, like in between it. That'd be fucking tight. That'd be real tight. So what else you been working on lately, man? Any other uh, things you want to share with some people or oh, let some people know? Sure. Me and my little brother, we've been doing, uh, making chess boards. And we have this beautiful idea to where on the actual board itself is going to go up kind of like a, a pyramid, but slightly. And we're going to do the Egyptians and the Mayans. And I'm basically sculpting all the little um, 
uh, pieces to it yeah. by hand, so it's yeah. going to take a while. But once this thing is done, be fucking sick, dude, I've seen some that have cost four thousand bucks. Bro, yeah. Yeah. This, believe this that. This is going to be up there. Believe that, dude. You got to think. There's so many custom ones that are themed to specific Game of yeah. Thrones. You got fucking yeah. Star Wars. Yeah, you see you Harry millions, Potter. Millions, you know yeah. them all, bro. But you can get music ones, satanic, right. godly, whatever. They get fucking expensive, bro. Like, no bullshit like you said, man. Four stacks, dude. Five stacks, excuse me, for a fucking chessboard in pieces, bro. It's really cool to have. It's though. awesome, dude. One, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Use one for yourself, for sure. That's fucking dope. Mm-hmm. But if somebody really liked it, then they could commission you to do it. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, that's the thing. Like, you, you have the potential to do it, man. So if somebody wanted it, they could hit you up and be like, let's fucking do this. Dude, that'd be sick, man. That'd be real sick. But I'll, I'll tell you guys right now, you know, hopefully by, like I said, the end of the month or next month, we have some fucking great promo shots of this comic book. Maybe my man can pull off a figure or two, even if they're just small, so we can show them to you guys and let you see what we're doing and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see this comic book, because here's the thing. What's going to happen is we're doing two at a time for the comic book. So when we do two of them, we're going to drop that first one, and then as soon as everybody reads it and we sell out and we do all, you know, do our thing or whatever, uh, then we're going to drop the second one so you can have that just simultaneously while you're trying to read it. So you can, you know, you can get the juice, baby. You know, you can get a little taste. I'm looking forward you know? to getting that first one cranked out. Dude, I'm psyched. I can't wait, man. I'm so excited. It's going to be so awesome. So awesome. Remember what I kept saying that the um, first time I ever went to Comic Con, I want to be in it? Yeah, yeah. dude, that's going to be us. We've already got plans, man. Like, straight up, we're definitely going to do this, man. And, like, anybody who's watching, if you're a badass artist and you want to join, let us know, man. We need some Absolutely. more artists, you know? Like, more artists involved, that's, you know, less work for everybody. That's more shit that can be done, you know? Uh, if you think you have good writing skills, uh, you can come. We can, you know, we can always use some fresh minds, you know, if. Uh, Somebody be interested? Just hit us up on this, you know, on this video or my inbox or whatever you guys want to do. So yeah, anybody who's on here, also you can comment if you think Tony Stark might, you know, be able to do something with Bruce Wayne. We disagree. I just, I, I just don't see it. <laughs> He's getting his ass whipped. I mean, you can put him in any scenario. I mean, I'm not that saying he'll be whooped, but no, man. but he's winning. Yeah, he's going to come out on top. Yeah, he's going to not murder, but he's gonna fuck. He's gonna fuck Iron Man up. It's going to be like Captain Winter Soldier when they're beating the shit out of him in yeah. Civil War and left him fucking hit his shit, like knocked his mask off, his helmet, I mean. Uh, you know, and he was, you know, not yeah, dead, he but he was done. He, he was, was tapped done. He was out. Mobilized, he was sure. not getting the fuck back up. When he hit him with the fucking shield, boom, hit him right there, dude. Bruce Wayne doesn't have weaknesses like that. The right. only weakness he has is that he is a true human, but he's a human who can fuck you up in, like, 20 different ways. Yeah. So Iron Man has that weakness of the fucking, you know, yeah. his heart, you know? So that puts a little... It kind of puts a different perspective on it when you look at it like that because Bruce Wayne really has no weaknesses. His, his suit is not as, you know strong maybe or whatever right. but oh. if you put him into certain gear like the shit he had against yeah. Superman it's the same thing right same I thing I mean yeah like it's just the bat version of yeah. the Iron Man suit. they're both billionaire geniuses straight up 100% they're the same dude pretty much you know it's just the Batman is just that guy mm-hmm. and also you gotta think Iron Man that dude he he's like too he's almost too cocky that he thinks he can fuck with anybody so mm-hmm. he doesn't really fear people and stuff like that. Batman has a contingency plan for his whole team oh, and he has yeah, a contingency plan for every, for every person for every person he encounters. That's Even good guys, bro. Even good guys, bro. This cat it's is smart. out here not giving a shit who you are. You're my best friend. I still know how to kill you. I still know how to kill you if you fuck with me in the wrong way, bro. So that's a cold-blooded dude right there. So I, that's what makes me want to fuck with Batman more so. Yeah. Tony Stark might be a funner character. He's funner. He's not yeah. as dark and edgy. He's right. funny. He's getting all the girls. He's doing this. I mean, Bruce Wayne gets all the girls, but it's more in like a, like you know what I mean. It's more, more like suave, like kind of front, like the, thing the, or whatever. The Bruce Wayne character. Is That's what more I'm saying. Front. Yeah, like, Tony he, Stark is like this one and the yeah, same. He wants to be Batman. A exactly. Lot he wants to be Bruce Wayne. Exactly, bro. He just wants. To, that's what I'm saying. So like, it kind of changes perspectives up when you look at it like that because. Tony is cocky, you know, Bruce Wayne, like, is, might be cocky, but he's more humble, like, because he, nobody knows who it is, only certain people, you know, Dick Grayson, you know, people like that, people who are super fucking close, you know, people who are part of the Justice League or Young Justice, which, 
bring you to my next point. Young Justice is one of the best fucking cartoons you've ever watched in your life. <laughs> Dude, you need to check it out immediately. Bro. Apparently, I don't even know what it is. Dude, it, I mean, it's essentially like the Junior Justice League. I mean, Young Justice. It's like it's all the guys. Animated? Yeah, yeah, it's cartoon. Okay. Uh, yeah, and like, it. it's, uh, you know, fucking. Let's see here. Nightwing. Flash. Uh, which, which Flash is it? Kid Flash is the original yeah, one who starts Flash. out. And then it's. Uh, Beast Boy. And then, yeah, Beast Boy. And then who, who comes like in? What's the, the next Titans Flash? Right yeah. What's the next Flash after Kid Flash? There was another one, the little tiny one. Look that up. There's a little. There was another one I saw on the show. I can't remember. Yeah, you got Beast Boy. You got Blue Beetle. Uh, <laughs> shit, Artemis. Um, which is, well, I mean, you should watch it. Martian Manhunter's <laughs> niece, because I don't want to ruin it for you. I don't like if you watch it. I don't want to like, spoil it for you. Martian Manhunter's niece is in it. She's a badass, bro. And then you got, uh, what's his face? Fucking, uh, Superman's, like, clone. Uh, oh, yeah. oh shit. Uh, Connor. Connor. Kent. Connor Kent. Yeah. He's a bad motherfucker. He's just, like, you know, Superman legit. Uh, he's a clone. Lex Luthor made him from Superman. Uh, it's really badass, dude. Those kids are freaking awesome. And, like I said, it has Dick Grayson, and then it has, uh, Jason Todd, and then it has, uh, Tim Drake, I think, was the Robin after that. So, like, you have evolution of Robins that, you know, Robin becomes Nightwing. And then, you know what I mean? It, it, like, goes through a little series or whatever. But it's awesome, man. And I definitely recommend you to check it out, everybody out there. The next thing I want to talk about is Carol fucking Baskin. Mm -hmm. So, I haven't seen it. What? Yeah. Really? Bro! Bro! I've, I've heard it's Bro! much, man. It's, it's, oh, the, it's, crazy. It's, it's the most much you ever wanted in your life, it's... bro. It's, it's just enough. To call it a Jerry Springer episode would be a, a huge <laughs> a compliment. It's a compliment like, if you There's, call there's it a Jerry cat Springer. in one of the episodes that was like a real life Scarface. Did prison yeah. time. Yeah. Because they took a chainsaw to an ATF agent on his property. And he was laughing about it, talking about it on camera. Straight He's up. the most he normal motherfucker in that whole show. Believe that. He went and did time, yeah. too, bro. Yeah, he shit. did a bunch of time. He over did a lot of time and then came back and fucking was still fucking that's, with animals. That's the, show. the most normal cat in the whole He's, show. Dude, those guys are brutal. Dude, you gotta watch it. It's I swear to God, it's worth it, bro. You got this crazy Carol bitch who's killing her Carol. husband, and then you got. I give you one damn guess. The, there's there's an old dude in uh, South Carolina that's got like a cult and like seven oh, Doc wives and some shit, dude. It's crazy. And then you got this crazy gay cowboy who thinks he's Darth smoking. Gun yeah, gun toting <laughs> fucking mess, crazy bastard. He's got a blonde mullet. See, nobody's it's, ever explained it like that. That sounds it's super. It's a beautiful crazy. fucking American dream. Oh, it's interesting. Dream. It's, it's, shit. it's the American dream, bro. Go it's, to Oklahoma <laughs> and you just you go to Oklahoma and just start a set up shop, son. There's something about Oklahoma now, dude. I want to live there. I want to live on the Tiger <laughs> chain. And we forgot about Jeff Lowe. Jeff Lowe's the guy. Oh, yeah, he ends up buying the, the guy fucking from Vegas or whatever. He's from somewhere. He goes to Vegas for a while. I don't know where he's from. They're all nuts. Dude, they're, they're all nuts. fucking nuts. They're nuts. But it's so fucking funny, man. When you watch it, you're like, wow. I'm so glad I'm watching this because I just feel like I'm embracing my inner white trash. <laughs> you're just oh, embracing it, bro. So to, the, to the fullest. You gotta drink white a bush trash. light when you watch it, you know? Like, yeah. it, it ain't being sausages. Like, you gotta really embrace that redneck. You feel me? And these cats are all living in fucking trailers out in the fucking cut. With like 230 Dude, goddamn tigers. The best I guess little part, lions, tigers, the cats. The best part is when that girl gets her fucking arm oh, ripped off. Oh shit. By Jesus tiger, Christ. And old Joe goes into the like the waiting room. And at first he had to change and put his EMT jacket on. <laughs> which I thought was crazy as shit. It's love. And then I he walks it. into the like waiting room with all these customers. And he was like, okay people, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Before you hear it somewhere else, we did have an incident <laughs> a few minutes ago. Said, where a girl a got check. And her <laughs> arm ripped off. So, if y'all want to take off, that's cool, I get it, I give you a rain check. <laughs> if you want your money back. He was so fucking calm about the whole thing, and just as People were just fact, standing they, there, they're just like, huh? Like, they're, they're, they don't even shit. know what to believe. Yeah, like, they're this like, can't what be real. the fuck, this is insane. So and then the bitch goes back to work like three days later. Literally, bro. Without arm? Yeah, what? with with a stump. She had an amputated dog. It's real, dude. You need to watch this All shit. Right, you so need to watch this shit, bro. You're painting a picture. So we got trailer parks way out in Oklahoma, right? Kind of, yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's, like a, it's like one trailer All park. All of these different people They're in like sanctuaries. Park. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. We're just talking about one spot in Oklahoma. Yeah. The, the, the crazy guy. guy is in Oklahoma. And then the dude with the cult and all the wives is in South, South Carolina. And then... Myrtle Beach. Crazy bitch Carol yep. that killed her husband is in Florida. Yep. 
And then you got the one guy, he's in like uh, Illinois or Indiana or something, the guy who ends up partnering with Jeff Lowe after Joe leaves. Oh, yeah. You got that tiger is what state? All over. All over. Like you yeah. just said, Myrtle Beach. Beach. Everybody's got one? Yeah. All, all of them got a bunch, bro. They're like Excuse breeding. Me. All these shit. different people have like a tiger sanctuary. Yeah, bro. It's like a zoo. It's like their own private zoo, yeah. bro. Like family or some shit. No, I mean, Joe, his is kind of like a fucking, you like know, a like, a, like, a, like a meth convict fucking family <laughs> or something, like halfway house or something. Yeah, yeah like, for real. It's fucking brutal, dude. So, like, he goes and picks people right. up from prison at the bus stop and yeah, shit, dude. Yeah, like, like half the employees his move. have just got out of jail. So. Straight up. So yeah, <laughs> One of the dudes found him on Craigslist, bro. <laughs> he was, like, on fucking Craigslist. And he got out of the joint and was like, damn, he's like, this would be pretty fun. I've never done this. I'm gonna go play with some tigers and smoke meth all day. Why not? Dude, stayed there forever, bro. So yeah. My little girl is always singing the song about Carol Baskin or whatever. Oh, God. Always. Yeah. So it's, like, it's huge on TikTok, she, bro. She killed the dude, apparently. Something that's, like that. I mean, that's the. She had a husband that disappeared. And You'll see. Was, just watch it. Yeah, you just watch, watch it. it. Just watch it, bro. Well, I don't want to ruin anything else. I'd We've say, already given away yeah, a lot of the yeah. good shit. But there's still a lot of good shit you're not ready for, I'd, too. I'd, I'd, like, put, I'd put the padlocks, bro. Dollars. Just wait. I'd put a billion dollars on the fact that she fed that motherfucker to the tigers. Yeah, sitting over there, fucking. So was he in the show or he was he no, dead? He's been dead. Oh like yeah, years. he died. At, yeah, it, it's she's been remarried years now to uh, another guy. That's another how she's passed. Yeah, bro. Like I said, I don't want to ruin anything else, but there's a lot of great shit. Like, like I said, the padlocks is one thing I want oh, you to look dude, for. The <laughs> I just can't wait for you to see this fat bastard on a jet ski and the song is playing <laughs> the, the, the fucking the the basic white guy such shades a ridiculous on. Shot. Oh my like, god! Like it served no purpose. You know it served all it the was, purposes, bro. It was everything I wanted to see in that moment. Gotta see it. Oh, dude, it's hilarious, bro. And I want to show you after you watch it. I want to show you the song that this rapper made named Hercules, and it is killer. He talks about the whole thing, man, and like it's it's super. No, nah, this is a different one. This, the, yeah, I guarantee there's, there's it. There's a couple different because ones. Because the one I'm talking about, it's like, um, it's from a rapper, like, he's pretty well known, you know, but like, it's more under, he's more underground and stuff like that. The one you're talking about is the one that's super famous on TikTok. Okay. Uh, like, yeah. Whacked Him or some shit. It's yeah. called Whacked Him yeah. or, or uh, Carol Baskin Whacked Him. It's one of those. That's yeah. the one you're probably talking about because yeah. all the kids are on that stuff. And it's like, everybody's just singing like... What well, if this lady really didn't kill her husband? We are pieces Dude. of shit, bro. I don't know. But man. I think I she mean, did. Yeah, I, I, I think know she I wasn't did. there or anything, but... Uh, if I if, if I was a gambling man... Yeah, hey, I said I mean, I'd put money on it. If I was a gambling man, I'd probably throw a couple stacks on it. Just I, to I'd say. definitely put money on it. God she, she fed that motherfucker to some tigers. She truly did. I mean, it's a perfect way to kill somebody, obviously. I mean, yeah. people feed, you know, people to hogs, yeah. alligators, shit like that. Why not tigers? I mean, they eat bones and all. I mean, they feed them old chickens and turkeys. They fucking chomp them down. Yeah. Horses. I don't mean chicken bones cows. are a little different than a human femur or some shit like that. She'd still have to bury some some leftovers. Mm, I, don't I don't know. You think a tiger would fuck it up more than a hog? Look up what no, a tiger. A hog would do more. Really? A hog will completely strip them down. They'll eat everything. Yeah. They'll crunch through the bone and all. I don't think well, a tiger will. I don't know. They'll like they'll lick all the flesh off the bone, like bone marrow and yeah. shit, like like suck it, like yeah, suck it, like chomp, chomp. Really? Stuff. Yeah. I think with hogs, you, you just hogs eat like, I know that, but I'm you saying you need to like pull the teeth and shave the heads, and shave all the hair off of the body yeah. because that fucks with the pig's digestive For system. For sure. But yeah. Have you ever seen Snatch? Snatch. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I, have, I have seen Snatch, but I'm saying I'm talking about the tiger. I know yeah. about the hog. Yeah. I'm saying about the tiger. We don't know if the tiger can do exactly what a hog can do. I don't think it can. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it can. What does it say? Yes? Does it? What's it say? What's it say, bro? Am I right? Oh, you're going to have to take my phone. He's wheezing over here. <laughs> Joe Exotic! Right here on Google it says, yes. according to Joe Exotic. He knows what we're talking about, son. Wow. He claims the owner of the rival Big Cat Rescue, Carol Baskins, <laughs> used this method to dispose of her ex-husband, who disappeared in 1997. <laughs> Oh shit, that was a year after I was born. Holy shit, it's been that long? Holy shit, I thought that was in the 2000s. Oh, so there you have it, folks. Bones that's can right. be eaten by a motherfucking I tiger. So. Free I Joe. So. Free <laughs> Joe, baby. Come on now. Free Joe. What's up, Donald Trump Partinson, man? I, mean, I don't think That'd he wants sick. to get anywhere near that mess. <laughs> For real. Uh, you're going to have people on he's here that are watching this He's got enough video. shit on his plate. I don't think he wants anywhere near that mess. He don't give a fuck anymore, probably. He's just probably like, fuck it, bro. I'm just, you know, I don't even care if I get probably reelected. Not. I mean, if I was we'll in let... that spot, I wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah, but, like, the thing is, is, like, 
if he did that, that'd be super badass. But I say that, and all the people that are like <laughs> super for Joe's Pita, still kind of a piece of shit. Oh, I, that's what I was getting at. Like I'm saying that, and I wish the only reason I wish he was is so I could pretend to be gay to get a lot of money. Like that's all I'm trying to do. Like. I'm just trying to pretend to be gay so I can get a lot of money, guys. I, so it's selfish play reasons. With <laughs> Smoke some <meth. laughs> Oh god! And we didn't even talk about the, the, the some of the craziest shit. Yeah. So I'm gonna pretend to be gay when Joe gets out so he can give me that bread, you know. So I'm trying to get this money, bro. I'm trying to come up, you know. No, I'm just playing. But all the people with Peter are gonna be super upset if they see this <laughs> video. Uh, free Joe. So get fucked, Peter. I'm sorry. Yeah. Because as a human, I feel like, you know, I care about humans more than I do animals. I'm sorry. It's just yeah, it depends know. on the animal. depends on the human. Good call. <laughs> good call. I would agree I'd with take that. take my fucking so, dog over true. most people that's out there. True. That's true. That's a good fucking point. That's a good fucking point. So another thing I got, we already got on the Tiger King, is I want to bring up the Epstein shit. So this is talked about all the time. I've already talked about it before. I was telling Wyatt earlier about the uh, Netflix documentary that came out called Filthy Rich. And if you guys haven't checked it out, definitely go watch it. It's some sicko shit for real. In one part, he made a check. He was like, yeah, I just want you to pinch my nipples as hard as you can. I was like, holy shit. People like that? You're going to jerk off and <laughs> get your nipples Dude, pinched? I don't motherfuckers that can't, can't get their jollies off without getting, like, cigarettes put Jesus out on their chest Christ. and shit like that. Here's I my mean, tongue. Put the yeah. cigar out. Yeah, I mean, Jesus. hey, Dave Chappelle said everybody fucks funny to somebody, right? <laughs> That is hilarious. By the way, this is super explicit. I gotta put explicit on this fucking oh, episode. Yeah. Hands We've down. got brutal out here. I didn't realize we were gonna go. Hey, I don't even care, bro. But I got some. Uh, I got some things I want to ask though. So, I think I might have already asked you, but I'm gonna ask you. If you had an animal that you would represent yourself with, what would you choose? Ooh. To represent your personality. That's a good one. Your personality. Because these are the questions I always ask, and I forgot that I don't think I've asked you guys these on camera. The Chinese thing that is for my Aquarius. I'm a rat. Like, it's I a think fucking snake. dog. <laughs> I got like the shittiest one. Yeah, I got a bad one too. If I was say, oh yeah, I'm 96. Cock. You got the cock. Yeah. Damn. Fucking kicks. Maybe like an hour or something that just thinks a lot. Mm, you are a thinking motherfucker. You really are. You build a chess set. I mean, that just says it right there. You are a thinking motherfucker, bro. You're what strategic you? with your mind. Me, I chose. Uh, I chose either a wolf because I feel like. I can flourish in a pack and I can flourish by myself. Dude, I was so going to say like, the same shit. I'm like, I'm good in packs, but I'm good alone. But I'd also say a tiger because I am kind of fucking, I am isolated and I kind of am by myself as tigers are. They have a fucking territory where they run with their main bitch and that's it, and their cubs. They don't fuck with nobody else. Like, they're kind of to themselves. They don't know, they don't hang out with their brothers or anything yeah. besides fucking see, I feel, uh, uh, Ghost I in the Darkness. Say, you know, like a you wolf know, or maybe even like, see, I'm, I'm a hot weather person. So I was, you're you know, a fucking like iguana, like bro. A, like a dingo you're an iguana, or a, bro. That's or you're a jackal or something. You're like a badass iguana, bro. The Them motherfuckers are scary. Dude, they're scary as fuck. Yeah. Have you ever seen somebody who has them? Dude, yeah. they get fucking huge. I know no, a guy. Like dinosaurs and shit. Dude, in yeah, Florida, they're like little and shit, but like, bro, I don't know how big they are in Florida, but I see a lot of videos of like little small ones. Dude, I've seen iguanas that are like fucking five foot, like four feet long, dude. Yeah. Scary. Terrifying, bro. Yeah, like, god damn, they get big. Look up how big iguana is, like the biggest iguana, bro. Shit, I bet it's probably six feet I guarantee it, bro. Because I'm telling you, one of my, one of my dudes has one. Up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge. But this motherfucker, his body was fat, too. I'm yeah. talking, and you got to think, monitor lizards, those are scary as fuck, too, bro. Or Komodo dragons. Oh, dude, those are terrifying. But yeah, he your natural grew, habitat is heat. He grew between five and seven feet long. Boom, there you go, bro. That's fucking scary. That's a huge-ass lizard, bro. Yeah. That's yeah, a, that's a dinosaur. To me. That's real know, fucking like scary. That. Dude, that's a small bit. Oh, you want them? Yeah, yeah was, dude. It was maybe that. I see people walking motherfuckers on leashes and shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. So you said you said dingo? Yeah, something like a like a dingo dog? or a jackal man. You said I like the I like yeah. the I'm I'm more nice. of a dog person definitely. Yeah. And I, like you said, I can function. I function well with yeah. a pack. I function well by myself. Yeah. All right. So here's my next thing. And uh, it's kind of one of these things where, like, it's kind of obvious, but then again, it's not. But what would you rather fight? A big cat or a bear? Cool. You know how big oh, we had that. Maybe I already asked him. I don't think I asked you on camera. We've talked about this before. We've talked so, about it. So let me put this into perspective for everybody who doesn't like... know about bears, okay? 
Bears eat you alive. They hold you down and eat you while you're still alive. They start eating you and they eat their prey as you're still living. Yeah. So that puts it in real scary terms. Right. So At now you need to it'll just kill you quick. Boom, yeah. it'll just chomp you and pierce your jugular and you'll bleed out yeah. quick. A bear's gonna eat you a lot. Yeah. Did you ever Big fuck cats with a cat? Like take their stomach you. and they like the, fucking oh, bite yeah. you. Yeah. In the, in the back, they'll use their back legs, dude. They'll fuck you up, That's son. That's wrong with that. cats, man. Is I know now. Get, I know bears have claws and they use yeah, their claws and shit. Yeah, they're like fucking like two inches, but too. Man, cats, three inches, maybe like, something, something crazy. Yeah, cats, cats are cats terrifying. With their claws will fuck they're your scared. shit up, man. You got a cat. How lo- yeah, yeah. And she's an asshole. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> look up, uh, look up the average death time from a bear on its prey. Remember that? Uh, I bet it was probably a year ago now. Like probably take a long Colorado, time. That guy that was jogging. Puma or that cougar or something. Some shit. Yeah. He just so happened to hear it coming behind him because you're running and that's their... It out. Yeah, we yeah, that, yeah, bro. We talked about it on the around just episode. in time to catch that cat coming at him. Now, granted, that wasn't a full-grown mountain lion. That thing was only about was 100 juvenile. pounds. But juvenile. Yeah, that's yeah, still a 100-pound cat. That's a big fucking cat. What was it doing while it was... It was I mean, coming at I'm him. Sure. I mean, it's probably hitting sure like Irene put his fucking no, fingers in his nose. He had it smothered from, like, like that behind, cow. choking it out, and it was still so like clawed the fuck out of his arms and shit, and he had to go to the hospital. But yeah, the dude choked a mountain lion to death. Did it kill it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he murdered it. Yeah, because like he, he went to the hospital there, and uh, fucking, you know, the cops didn't believe his story, so they went, because <laughs> he left his wallet, left his phone and shit, yeah. and drove himself to the hospital. Cops went back out to the scene to recover his so, items and found this fucking dead wow. cat laying there. And they were like, Jesus Christ, the dude wasn't full of shit. <laughs> That's wow. insane, though. To yeah. think, to have that instinct to grab a hold of that bitch and just fucking put it to sleep. That's really the, the only option he had. Dude, yeah, that's fucking intense. What, what are what other, like, animals people have been able to do that with, you know? Like, intense yeah. alligator. I don't think anybody's oh, ever, sure. like, killed a bear with their bare hands. I, feel no, like I wouldn't think so. That's, I feel like that's impossible. I wouldn't uh, think so. You need at least a rock or you, something. You need, like, a deer antler or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a good sharp stick, flint, maybe. Flint. You just, something. Like, I don't think you can bare handed I just don't take out can. a bear. Like, what are you going to do? Like, what's your, what's your strategy? You're going to kick it right in the balls <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah. run. That, that video of that guy who runs up to it, that's oh, hilarious, yeah. bro. So have I asked you this before? I don't know if I asked you. If you could time travel, would you travel back or would you go forward? If it was, like, available, like, how, like, just yeah, chill, know. like, vibe. Like, you could pick one, but you have to pick one or the other, and that's the only way you can go for the rest of time travel. I would like to say I'd like to go back just to see some cool shit, you know? Like, but, but maybe the future's dope. But that's what I'm maybe saying. Maybe the future's the, dope. It's that, it's that not knowing. I yeah. would have a gun to my head. If I had to pick, I'm going forward. Because you never know. Right. You never might be know. some flying cars and hoverboards. Some shit. I don't fucking know. What would you pick? Why? Or it might be Mad Max. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. It might be fucking no humans. A lot of shit I'd like to go back and prove. Sure. You're like, I knew you off. Ancient you civilizations dead, would be really cool to go back and prove. That'd be badass. Go back like Tepe with fucking Graham Hancock. Dude, you, you gotta straight up prove that shit. You gotta stay there? No, no, just time travel. It's free. You yeah. can live in the present and you can just... Time travel, like just go back for a couple just days. Just go back, or go wherever. As many, t- as long as you want, your whole life if you want. Yeah, well, or like you have a vacation home in a different timeline. Yeah, that'd be dope. Be like, yeah, I'm gonna go to you could, you know, like pull Switzerland. Some, yeah, pull some. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's his name? Biff or Buff or whatever from. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, Back to the Future. And uh, remember some lottery numbers and go yeah. back in time and set yourself up. That'd be sick. That'd be sick, bro. Go back to the 70s. You can go back to, I mean, yeah. shit, dude. You can go back to great Start times. Start placing some big old bets on Super Bowls dude, and World yes. Series. Mm-hmm. And just live your life over, essentially. I put all my money on the 1990 Chicago Bulls. <laughs> yeah, the whole the whole decade. Mm. Just the whole decade. No, but that, that's what I'm saying. Like, you really could... You really could set yourself up and just kind of just essentially restart your life. Right. So, like, if you're... I'm, I just turned 24... So if I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to go back to 1981, and then I'm going to be 24 in 1981, and yeah. I'm going to win the lottery that year, and win the next year, and the next year, and then, you know, just keep doing it, and yeah. I can just start my life over, and it'd be like I was born in the 80s type shit, like I'd already, but I'd already know what I know. Yeah. So that would be sick, bro. The 80s were so much more fun, too. Guarantee yeah. it. You'd get away with so much more shit back then That's than you true. nowadays. God damn. Yeah. It'd be like anticipation, like when cameras are about to come, if you already yeah. knew they were going to come to the extent that they were, you would feel like so shitty about it. You'd be like, damn, I'm never going to be able to run naked down the street ever 
I'm never going to be able to get caught knocked out ever again. I got to have my chin protected at all times. <laughs> you know what I mean? No world star out here, bitch. You know, like, you really, you got to be dedicated out here, son. No caller ID. No nothing. No FaceTime. No Dude, I remember I got my first cell phone crazy. when I turned 18, and it didn't have caller ID on it. That damn thing was about this big. It I was 12 when I got my first brick. cell phone. It was a piece of shit. It just said incoming call. Mm. And you just had to take your chances. Here's another right? guy. You just had to take your chances. Yeah. Yeah. God? Is that you? <laughs> it's me, Margaret. <laughs> so, next thing is, if you could pick a superpower, one. You can pick one. Any superpower, period. What do you pick? We need to talk about that tail thing, too. Yeah. Taylor Wings, we need to bring that up next. That's a good one. What Super power? I don't know, man. I'm going Dr. Manhattan. What are you picking? Deadpool's healing power. That'd be cool. Yeah, like, I was going like to say, like a, like a healing power or, you know. Is that legit, though? Because you watch all the people you love die. Yeah. That sucks. That's a real shitty side to it. Yeah, but you could jump off a building just because. Yeah, fair enough. And you wouldn't <laughs> die. You could. I mean, that, that's a. Like, you can do whatever you want. It's suicidal over here. <laughs> it did. You can do it. I don't need to worry about you. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, I'm saying, like, that pool's dope. Like, but you can like, join the army. I'd probably want and more so. You wreck people. You really could wreck people. You wouldn't get. You wouldn't I mean, die. That's true, but my thing is, like, I'd rather have, like, Wolverine. You could get factor, cut in yeah. half. Because it's and more practical, I feel right. like. With Deadpool, you gotta grow back. Yeah. Yeah, it, Wolverine's like instantaneously, bro. Yeah, He's like getting quick. hit, and it's like boom, boom, boom. I feel, like that's, I feel like that's better. Would you get the claws? Not too? really, though. Because that's not his. Well, Antimanium well, is. Yeah, that wouldn't be the. I'm you can only pick healing. Yeah, just the power. Deadpool grew his entire lower half. But it takes a long time. It takes a long time. It was like a day or two. Or anything like that. Okay. I don't know. What about that? What was Dr. Manhattan's power? I guess he could do anything. Yeah, he's like Superman. He's like the Superman of Dark Horse. He could do whatever the hell he wanted to. That's pretty dope. But you can pick God powers too. I mean, that kind of goes insane. Like, powers. During that whole series, wouldn't he like? He had like six of himself on Mars, right. building a colony, yeah. and then he's also chilling on. Bad Earth. motherfucker, dude. Yeah, Doctor Manhattan can do whatever he wants. Literally, <laughs> literally. So what are you picking? You want healing factor? I, I think so, man. I think so. Like teleportation would be pretty awesome. That's a good one. Super Nightcrawler. speed. I'd rather have super speed. Super than speed. Teleportation. <laughs> really? Damn. Yeah. I, I'd probably say no. You can run. Yeah, but you can teleport around the world. Yeah. You can teleport. Yeah, it would be quicker. You would be, no, it's no strength. Just jump. But yeah. If, jump. If there's I'm limitations. Yeah. I mean, there's limitations. You can only go as there's, far as you can and see. And it gets old That's after just Nightcrawler, though. With yeah. one It'll get old after a while. You Super like, speed, you can learn new tricks, like throwing lightning. Like Yeah, flash style. I feel you. I'd probably say if I had to pick one... If I had to pick one, it'd probably be, uh, I want to say flying, bro, just because super with flying, you, you super literally, strength. super strength is good, but then again, I mean, you can get your ass kicked by somebody who's fast. Like Big the flash is broad. There you go. So like what I'm saying is, like, you got to oh. think, if you have flying, you can do a lot of shit with that. Not only can you be really fast, but you can also have super strength, too, with flying, but it's just coming from the air, momentum, yeah. physics, shit like that. So you can get smart with it and beat the fuck out of people and fuck people up really, really bad. And you can travel. You can do whatever the fuck you want. No more traffic. No more traffic, bro. I want to see the pyramids. No more <laughs> like we talked about, yeah. you have to have the strongest fucking car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I feel like if you're flying, how do you keep your legs up straight? That's yeah, bro. Like, how do you... You have to be dangling, bro. The like, speed. You have to be dangling, bro. The speed and the It would be the. I said the aerodynamics when we talked yeah, about it. I was like, the air would the keep air your legs would up. push your body up. But would it? But would yeah. it? We've never flown. Don't we don't yeah. know. I, I don't know. I'm going to look up the aerodynamics. Look up the aerodynamics of people. <laughs> because if I'm a superhero and I got to have my legs dangling, bro, I might not <laughs> want to fly. Kind of I might not want to fly. I'm going to look like a fucking bird that's not tucked his legs in. I'm just like yeah. flat footing it up. You know what I mean? Like, what the hell's going on, bro? So, yeah. And then the next thing is, would you rather have a tail or wings? Wings. Wings. Shit. Wings? Okay. I'd rather have a tail. Really? Now, here is the no, explanation. Because I said wings at first, too. If it's a fully, like night crawlers, a fully functioning tail where it would basically be like having another arm. You know what I mean? Where you could like pick stuff up and grab it, or but you can't fly with something. a tail. <laughs> I don't need to fly. 
I'm like that's a tail. But here's the I thing: I can fucking smack somebody with you know, you like kill oh, shit, people. Yeah, from? you can murder people with it. But here's the thing about the wings, bro. What kind of wings are you gonna get? You getting the angel wings? Because then those motherfuckers are huge. You gotta carry them around all the time. That's they don't thing. sink in. Yeah, you know, that's what we talked about. I was like, shit. And that dude, was the thing I had about crazy. the legs dangling. If you're flying with angel wings, you, got you know that kind of thing, bird wings. Then. Uh, any kind of wings, you know, like uh, you know, like a bird, they got to tuck their feet up. Tuck what their about legs like in. angel pretty much wings? Pretty that the wind would push your body up into that yeah. position. That's why they do it. That's why they put it on movies like that I because mean, it would. Like angel like, wings. As soon as you from start slowing movies? down, oh yeah, you're dead. Like, what about like yeah, arc? but I don't know. Like, like if you get into angel wings, like mermaids, yeah, but then it's more like you're not really having wings. It's kind of like mechanical. Yeah. It's like that's like mechanical at that point, so it's not really like. You didn't tell me the limitations. <laughs> fair enough. This is this is fair. This is a fair point, yeah, my friend. That's more of like some Tony Stark shit instead of some powers. I think yeah. you scoot in a little bit, bro. But then you could. Uh, not right there. There you go. Hey, just want to make sure you're not half facing it. Yeah. This is a great view, man. I'm loving this setup, dude. I, I leave some comments and feedback if you guys like this setup because we're probably gonna be. We might go this angle or one of the other angles in the room, but this one's looking super dope. Yeah, so I'm just kind of figuring it out right now. I like it. It's fucking awesome, man. It's really good. Uh, what time are we at? We're at like 46, I think. Hell yeah, Sam. We're 15, almost at a fucking hour. We've been blowing through it. So yeah, so power probably going to go flying, bro. That's probably what I'm rocking, for real. But I think that's good enough. 46, shit, man. We're almost at an hour. It's been great. Good night, all you motherfucking heathens and hell raisers. And uh, yeah, Carol killed her husband. So that's all I gotta <laughs> yeah, say. Check that bitch killed her husband. You guys have a great night. Bless up, baby. All right.